the only product you can use unreinforced on a soft polystyrene. In this case, we've got two different things. What, what we do, the other key point, first of all, is there's always an unbonded system. Many toppings, they, uh, they bond it directly to the substrate. Um, sometimes if it's on concrete, you have to blast track or scarify, use bonding agents. With this, we just put a slip sheet down. It's separated. It has the integrity because of the compressive strength and the flexibility to act as an independent floating system. So now what we'll do, we'll come here, we'll put a, a slip sheet down. In this case, we're using a three quarter inch Durafoam insulation. This itself has an R value of 1.8 for this by itself. And, uh, but we're also adding a five millimeter at the foam. This gives an additional 22 decibels of sound value. So when you combine this with the insulation, plus the discrete A has uh, value, you're increasing your uh, approximately your sound values by 35 decibels. So it's, it's very, very significant increase. And now with that insulation beneath, you're not losing or wasting any energy into heating the subfloor, whatever it is beneath, in this case wood, in lots of cases of course it's concrete, and that's where the energy savings is. But now, the standard of this is three centimeters coverage above your tube, so really in effect that's all you're heating. So as soon as you start heating, it's gonna be very quick heating, you're gonna have fine tuning of that, and at the end of the day, energy savings. And it's because of that conductivity, the heat distribution through the tubing is very, very consistent. It's almost uh, we've seen some thermography pictures where they're trying to locate things. You can't even tell where the tubing is. It's that, it's that consistent throughout. So that's very, very different than, than with concrete. So what I've got here, this is the five mil, what you've got first. So that gets placed first. And then these are just four by eight sheets of the insulation on top. And then we have a special clips and guns, which the tubing just gets placed. We supply that to the uh, mechanical company. And they just simply click that into the insulation. We tape the joints on the insulation. Um, and then also part of every installation, we're using these edging strips. This goes around all your walls and it's doing two things. There's always expansion in your walls and floors. So that's taking up any expansion there may be. You'll also notice there's a, a plastic foil on there and a lot of moisture involved in there. You get in a lot of woodwork. Uh, you don't like that moisture. Contractors don't like it. And uh, when they're pouring this, it's very, very liquid. But 96% of that water in that mixture is used to crystallize the binder. There's a layer of bleed water that sits on top. If you come back a few hours later, it's all gone. It gets sucked into the material to crystallize that binder. So there's no shrinking and curling. And that's why in a whole area, even large commercial jobs, we can do up to 10,000 square feet at a time with absolutely no saw cuts or mm. control joints. So now this goes in your wall and this prevents any moisture from getting into your wood or your drywall. We recommend in most cases uh, that you build all your walls first. It usually speeds up the construction process on site, but also uh, you're getting the benefit, the owner at the end of the day is getting the benefit of the no sound transmission now between your walls. And uh, this is also pre-engineered, it's actually all pre-cut. So once your topping is down, this simply gets peeled off. And uh, so it's a whole system. So now everything has flexibility to move and uh, you're gonna get the conductivity now, uh, a, a very uniform conductive surface for the, uh, for the heating.